start the uh, program start creating the project in the usual way with file new and project and then make sure that the uh, Windows form application is selected and type in a name of uh, audio books or audio book base I think I call it it's actually the program at the heart of this is keeping track of my audio book collection but you know don't be put off by that you could use it to keep track of any type of collection comic books or DVDs or uh, videotapes or whatever your thing is and then the first thing I want to do is select the form and give the form a meaningful name so I call it ABB form for uh, audio book based form probably would have been better to call it FRM audio book but you know what can I say I'm I'm off my game I'm near death here and then give the uh, text in the top of the window some meaningful name like audio book base so it looks good when you run the program and first thing we want to do is drag over a tab control to the uh, main form and I initially opened up the common task pop-up to see if there was a dock in in container which there isn't for the tab control so I'm just trying to stretch it out so it's as uh, close to possible to filling the whole uh, window since the having four tabs is is like the main organizational principle of the program and then go over to tab pages collection and click on the ellipse and that creates something a lot like the uh, property pane but oriented specifically for handling uh, tabs and and uh, and adding and removing tabs so we call the first tab TP input it's going to be a page for inputting data into the database and give the tab a meaningful text of uh, input and then I almost click OK which would have been a mistake because that would have closed the the tab page collection editor so now I give the second tab a meaningful name of uh, TP query edit and give that tab a meaningful text on the tab of uh, query edit and the reason you have query and edit together is it's an extremely useful way to do it. You usually don't know the exact record that you want to edit, but you know something about it, like the title of a movie or the author or whatever. So that you do a query, and then when you find the record, you can then edit the record. And the next tab is uh, TP listing which is a page for looking at listings in different ways by different criteria probably the be the most used page because you, you spend a lot more time looking things up in databases than you do inputting or editing them and then the fourth and final page is called uh, TP code or TP codes and this essentially takes advantage of the relational nat nature of, uh, of a relational database and it has codes that are put in the main record as numbers and then looked up in code files or code tables so we'll try uh, saving and compiling and running this and we see the the form comes up with our, our uh, four tabs. Well, I hope you learned a lot about the tab page uh, collection editor and about the tab control. Uh, we'll be getting more and more into ADO.NET objects and SQL Server tables in the following lessons. And uh, that's 
code can be pretty easily tweaked to handle any collection as I say comic books or DVDs or whatever you like to collect so I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll I'll see you next lesson Alexa 2 and until then remember to focus and learn a lot